Everybody's been sleeping on this shoe. It's been sitting in Foot Locker and I don't know why. These are some bangers, at least to me. I'm excited to give you guys the review on the Burgundy Air Jordan 5s. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can get into this review. All right, so as you guys can see right here, there is definitely a huge switch up on the box. Now, typically for my old sneaker head, you guys remember, damn, this thing's a little bit dusty, but you remember back in the day, we used to have that, that gray and silver box, or some people called it the black and silver box, and you had that silver lining around here and everything. This is what the Burgundy 5 used to come in. And then this is what the box looks like now in current time. So you got that all over cement print throughout the box, splattered all throughout with the light gray and the dark gray. Then in the center of it right here, you have a burgundy Jumpman, a white circle Air Jordan branding, and you have Flight Club right just below that, a red circle in the middle of there. And then reading on the size tag, it says Air Jordan 5 Retro SE Deep Burgundy Light Graphite, size 13, just for me. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you have the same thing all over with the cement print paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay so initial first impressions when I saw this shoe honestly I was kind of disappointed but but one thing that I can say is I get it there's a new cut in a new era so I understand that I just wish the burgundy would have been more vibrant not as like faded and kind of ashy looking either way I still like the shoe I'm just, I, you know, I, it just don't hit the same as it used to. Now, you know, on this channel, I love breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials and giving you guys in-depth comparisons, but we got to talk about the history first. Back in 2006, we originally saw the LS Burgundy Air Jordan 5. During this time, we saw the Laser 5s, we saw the Olive 5s, we saw the Do the Right Thing 3s, you name it. There was a lot of different lifestyle sneakers, that's what LS means, and this was kind of an introduction to a new type of wave when it comes to retros with different colorways that we we didn't see on the basketball court but kind of more meant for lifestyle you know out in the streets so this shoe in particular these came out when I was in high school back in 2006 and I'll never forget these times and as you can see I've put my time in on this pair and I've definitely been waiting for some years for this shoe to retro and don't worry we'll get into all the comparisons like you guys love but for right now let's go ahead and start breaking down all the details so looking at the outsole right here you got your classic Air Jordan 5 bottom but we know this is a retro and it's not an OG colorway with the Nike Air so what does that mean? You have a Jordan branding right here in the middle of the foot in the back compared to the Nike branding. And then on the ball of the foot right here, you have a Jumpman in the center of that. And then you got your translucent areas here with the icy blue outsole. Now rolling up to the midsole right here, you have a burgundy on the midsole. And then you have a gray section here with the burgundy speckle throughout the shark teeth on the side of the foot. And then a white air unit in the back end around the heel. Going to the toe of the foot, you have a burgundy rubber wrapping around that front end plus a burgundy stitch. And then all throughout the upper, you got a burgundy suede on this shoe. Now, one thing I can say is the suede does feel pretty solid it's not the best it's not the worst I'm not mad at it but like I said earlier at the end of the day when you put these two shoes side by side compared to the old one and the new one it just doesn't hit the same and it doesn't feel as premium as it did in the past I don't know maybe it's because I'm biased but again that's just my two cents when it comes to the overall materials and the color of the materials now looking at the rest of the shoe you have a burgundy mesh with the translucent net right here on the side of the foot on the top of the tongue and on the inside of the foot as well these come standard with a pair of all gray lace no additional laces and honestly I'm not mad at it because I know that's how it used to be in the past and then you have your iconic touch with the plastic bib right here in the gray lock just in the center of that now going to the tongue of the shoe another iconic piece the all 3m silver all throughout the tongue another piece that really makes a statement when it comes to the Jordan 5s even though the fire red 5s with the black tongue are crazy and that's still my favorite one of my favorite fives of all time but the 3m it's a nice touch especially for a sneaker like this with the gray elements around the sock liner and around the shoe laces now looking behind the tongue you have a gray mesh right here and then you have a white patch with the burgundy air jordan branding on that and then the insole all gray with the burgundy Jumpman inside of there now going to the back end and around the heel of the shoe you have a gray jump man stitch right there and then another thing some people may or may not notice if you look at the stitching all throughout the upper on every element that's kind of just piecing the whole shoe together this is actually a gray stitch compared to the burgundy stitch and it helps to make the shoe pop a little bit more but if you look at the 2006 retro that gray stitch was actually a little bit brighter and it brought out a little bit more character in the shoe and I think that could also be another factor why this shoe doesn't look like 
it stands out as much. It kind of just looks a little bit more bland. It doesn't pop. Because on this version, you have a darker burgundy with a lighter stitch. And then on here, they're kind of a little bit more similar. And it almost makes the gray stitch look like it's a little bit more burgundy than anything. Now, besides the shades and tones of this sneaker, sometimes when we see retros, we see a lot of different switch ups, whether it's the plastic pieces right here around this eye holes, around the shoe, or something might have just kind of gotten switched up if they did something on this sock liner, you name it. But honestly, if you look at these shoes side by side, they actually did an identical match when it comes to this. Typically, we don't see that that often. And honestly, that's one of the elements that I'm actually really happy about when it comes to Jordan Brand. Now, again, I'm not 100% happy because I still like the 2006 pair a little bit more. But one thing that I can say is, Thank you, Jordan Brand, for not switching it up too much. Now, besides from the fact that I've been collecting shoes for a long time and I'm a bougie sneakerhead that's got too many gripes on all the little details, at the end of the day, I still like this shoe. And that's why I cop these for my collection. And I look forward to wearing them because I can't wear my old pair anymore. They're bound to fall apart at any moment. And that's okay, because that's why we get retros. But my question is, how do you guys feel about this shoe? Now, you know, I always post a poll on my Instagram to see the results, and then I post them here on the channel to let you guys know what everybody else thinks. So if you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate that and see the results here. I asked the simple question, is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? 73% of the people said fire and 27% of the people said trash. And honestly, that's a percentage right there that makes me think, why didn't this shoe sell out? Like that's a really good percentage. But I was walking in the mall today and I'm like, they're still sitting on shelves. I get it though. It's not a color that goes with everything. It doesn't hit for everybody. And yes, it's great timing because the fall is coming around. But again, not everybody likes that. The Jordan 5 isn't the hyped model right now. There's a lot of different reasons why I could understand that 27% of the audience. But at the end of the day, Buy what you like, that's the most important. I like the shoe, so I had to pick them up. Now let me know what you guys think about these. Did you pick these up? Are you waiting to pick these up? Do you not like these at all? Are you gonna get them on sale? Do you think they're gonna go up in value or buying them and holding them? What is this scenario for you? Let me know down below in the comment section because I'm very interested in that topic, especially for a sneaker like this. A lot of people say the shoe market is down and there's a lot of different things going on with why people want these shoes over those ones. And for me, a sneaker head that loves sneakers and has nostalgic memories from wearing them in high school or middle school or whatever it was, this shoe for the most part checks a lot of those boxes. So I'm sure a lot of my older sneaker heads in the comment section, you guys are probably just like ecstatic about this, super happy, besides the fact that the retail has gone up. It's a great day for a sneaker head to be able to get a shoe like this. So let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to hear you guys' responses. We got a lot more reviews coming soon. Stay tuned. I appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA. Hey, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA